welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss mission dependent code generation and different object code forms first of all what is mean by this mission dependent code generation simply this is the final phase of compilation so we know all the phases initially we are producing source program as the input to the front end. So this front end takes the source program and it generates some intermediate code as the output. Whatever the intermediate code that is generated from the front end, that intermediate code is transferred to code optimization now what the code optimization generates anyway it also generates the intermediate code in optimized form that is whatever the intermediate code generated from the front end optimization is performed in this phase and it produces optimized intermediate code this optimized intermediate code is passed as input to the code generator. Now, the code generator produces a target mission code as the output. Target mission code as the output. Anyway, in all the phases, Symbol table is provided. So, symbol table. So, everyone know this diagram. This is the basic compilation phase diagram. Now, observe here. Code generator. Input is intermediate code. Anyway, we know different representations of intermediate code. What are the different representations? We can represent in quadruple, in triplet format, in three address code, three address code, in abstract syntax tree, and polish notation. So, intermediate code is represented in different ways. Now, the code generator produces object code. We will discuss this object code forms. Now, what is the object code? Simply, object code is an output of code generator. This object code is also called as mission code. Here, this object code is represented in three ways. Like intermediate code is represented in three different notations. In the similar fashion, object code is also represented in three ways. One is absolute code. Second one is relocatable mission code. Third one is assembler code. Okay. Now. We will discuss one by one in detail. First coming to absolute code. So very simple. Absolute code is simply it contains. Absolute code is also a mission code. This code consists of this absolute code consists of reference to reference to actual addresses within program address space each and every program have some address this absolute code contains reference to the actual addresses simply whatever the code that is generated the code is placed understand the code that is placed directly in the memory whatever the object code or absolute code that is generated that generated code 
is directly placed inside the memory. What happened? At the time of execution, if the code is already available inside the memory, no need to transfer any position. So, at the time of execution, execution starts immediately. What the point? So, directly the code is placed inside the memory. That is the reason instead of transfer to any different location, directly the code is there. So, execution starts immediately. So, that means the execution speed is very fast. And generally, for small programs, the small programs can be compiled and executed very fast. Because of this, Absolute code generation. Absolute code generation. Here you need to remember this point. The code is placed directly. Now, second one is relocatable mission code. In what situation you are using? Absolute code is used for small programs. Relocatable mission code. In what situation you are using? Suppose your program is divided into different sub-programs. Different sub-programs. Each sub-program is compiled separately. For example, my program is divided into three sub-programs. Sub-program 1, program 2, program 3. Each sub-program is compiled separately. So, after compilation of each subprogram separately, and each subprogram produces one output. Finally, this set of relocatable object modules, whatever it is generated, all the subprograms object modules can be linked together, linked together and loaded for execution, loaded for execution by the using linker loader available in system. Now you understand in what situation? So producing relocatable mission code as the output. Main purpose is it allows the subprograms to be compiled separately. After that, this subprogram compiled object modules are linked together and then loaded for execution by using linker and by using linker loader. Now, what is the advantage? The advantage is this one. The advantage is compiling subroutines that is subprogram separately. And if you want, you can call the already compiled subprograms. If you want, you can use already some existing object codes are there. You can club with this object codes. Everything is happened. That is the advantage of relocatable. Third one is assembler code. Third one is assembler code. Here what is the output? Assembly language program as the output. The assembly language program as the output. The advantage is it makes the code easier. The code generation process compared to previous, the code generation process is easier because it uses Symbolic instructions. So, assembler code in the sense simply it generates symbolic instructions and we are using the macro facilities of the assembler. By using the macro facilities of assembler, we can generate the symbolic code. But general thing is 
generating this assembler code as the output makes the process is slower. Why? Because assembly symbolic instructions need to be generated. Again, the symbolic instructions need to be evaluated by using the macro facility. So, somewhat slow. But the process is easier. These are the different object code forms. In the simple things, if the program is very small and if you want to execute fast, we are moving into absolute code. Why? The address is placed directly. Suppose if the program size is very large, we are dividing the program into different sub-programs. After that, combining object code of each sub-program and then loaded for execution, we are moving into relocatable mission code. And if you want to generate assembly language code in the form of symbolic instructions, anyway, the process is easier. If you want to use such type of easiest process, we are moving to assembler code. These are the three different object code forms. So, this is the concept of mission dependent code generation and different object codes. In the next session, we will discuss the issues that occurred in the process of code generation. That is the end of today's session. Thank you.